What's up everyone? Hope you're all doing well and uh, today we're finally going to have a look at the uh, long-awaited feature on Code Smash, and that's the uh, Next.js app. So this feature actually aims to replace Vercel because instead of using Vercel to host your Next.js apps, you'll actually be hosting them on uh, AWS and that's going to be one less uh, subscription for you once you start uh, deploying your apps using Code Smash. And uh, as I've mentioned previously, AWS actually has a lower pricing than uh, Vercel because Vercel itself is hosted on AWS. So let's get started. Uh, here you can see the uh, Next.js app. You can uh, click here and uh, it's going to take you to the uh, deploy screen. Uh, the only thing you have to add here is uh, the name of your app, uh, which is going to be something simple like uh, uh, once you've uh, done the name of the app, the only thing now you have to do is uh, select the uh, web hosting app. If you haven't deployed a, a web hosting app uh, already make sure you do so if you haven't seen the tutorial i ha i'll have a link down below in the description so you can check it out so once you do have the uh, web hosting app just make sure to select one right here and you can go and uh, click on the deploy now button and uh, after a couple of seconds code smash is going to deploy your uh, Next.js app and you'll be able to actually see what's on the screen and what we have here is our Next.js app that has been deployed. Let's just go and uh, check it out. Uh, as I've mentioned previously you have just now integrated the uh, Next.js uh, app with the hosting app that uh, I've created previously. So let's go and uh, have a look at this hosting tab. As you can clearly see here it tells you which app you've integrated uh, the Next.js app with and it also gives you some other info like uh, the domain where your uh, application is hosted and it also shows you the cache. At this point we can now go and uh, have a look at our app. We can just copy the domain, we can go here, paste it in and as you can clearly see our Next.js uh, boilerplate has been deployed successfully to our website domain. Uh, at this point let's go back to the main screen and uh, the only thing that we have to show now is how you're actually going to be working with your Next.js app. Uh, so let's get started with this process as well. So the only thing you have to do is just uh, click here and let's go to our terminal because now what we want to do is uh, basically just uh, clone this repository locally. So make sure you to just type in git clone and uh, paste in the URL. So once you've pasted in the URL, make sure you clone it. And as you can see, this has now started. So let's now go and uh, have a look at our code and we can open any code editor. In my case, I'm going to be opening Visual Studio Code just like this. Okay, don't be alarmed by the uh, red lines that you can see here. The only thing that we have to do is install all the NPM packages with NPM I. This is going to take just a couple of seconds and you will be able to see that everything is fine at this point. Uh, so just open index.tsx and let's uh, just make some changes and we can say instead of get started we have all from code smash and uh, let's just try to run this locally with npm run dev and yeah this is going to be launched on the local host 3000 so we're going to take this and just see if it runs correctly, which it does. It says here, hello from Code Smash. But on our website, it actually still says get started, 
which is correct but once you're done deploying right once you're done making changes to your code the only thing you need to do is actually just commit the code like this and now the code the changes that you've done are going to be sent to code smash so now let's go back to code smash and uh, let's go to the uh, pipeline tab So now that the pipeline tab is loading, it's actually going to show you that uh, the deployment has started. So what that means is that uh, CodeSmash is going to take the changes. It's going to take the changes that uh, you've just done. It's going to build them and it's going to upload them to your web hosting. And uh, once the deployment is done, which as you can clearly see it's now done the only thing you have to do is go back to the hosting tab and you just uh, clear the cache and once the cache has been cleared your users will be able to see the changes this is going to be just fine let's go back to our website and now we can refresh so once we've refreshed we can see that it says hello from code smash here as well and uh, that's pretty much it for how you use uh, Next.js apps with code smash it's as easy as you've just seen so one more thing that uh, i would need to explain is the integrations tab uh, as you can see on this here tab there are a couple of other features which are still in development so the first thing that you're going to be able to do is integrate with REST API apps, which means that if you deploy a REST API on a code smash, you'll just be able to add your URL here and your Next.js app is going to be able to use it directly, meaning it's just going to be able to query the data and uh, add the data as well. Uh, the next integration is also a GraphQL API, which you'll be able to deploy through Code Smash as well. So you'll be able to query a Graph a, a GraphQL APIs as well. Uh, after that, we're going to add some Stripe integrations so that you can actually sell directly to your clients with your Next.js app. So the only thing you have to add is your uh, Stripe uh, publishable key, and uh, that's going to be it. Lastly, there's going to be authentication, uh, which is going to be deployed uh, on AWS using the uh, Cognito service. And uh, Code Smash is going to be able to deploy that as well. So once you add all the credentials here, you'll be able to authenticate your users as well. After that, there are going to be some other integrations, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. So, guys, I hope you liked this presentation. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And uh, that's pretty much it for this time. And uh, I'll see you and talk to you next time.